Hi everyone, today we talk about chapter 5, the memory system and I.O. interaction. The first, we will uh, consider the overview of the memory system in the BLC. So, uh, in the BLC, we uh, use the memory system to store the control program, uh, instruction, and user's data. So, the control RAM, when you repair your control RAM on the software, then you log to the BLC. So, the memory will store your control RAM. But for the instruction, this instruction made by the manufacturers and this store in the hidden memory in the BOC. And finally, the user data when you use the BOC, maybe when the user is working, uh, it generates the data and store in the memory for future, for further. And in the BLC, the memory system is feasible for change the control RAM and user data because when you RAM in the BLC, it's maybe uh, the first program is not working according to your requirement. So uh, in the future, our, 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 we uh, debug your RAM, we have to change the RAM again and again. So the memory system is had, it's had to be uh, changed easily for uh, update the control RAM and also the user data. And in the BLC, uh, the total memory uh, come out to different memory. It's a, a secretive memory area and application memory area. So now we consider the executive uh, memory uh, area is for the permanent RAM. Uh, I already mentioned you, uh, this RAM uh, lot to the BLC by manufacturer. It look like the operation a system on the computer or the mobile phone. So when you use, use the BC, you cannot touch or you cannot see this permanent store RAM. So this store, uh, this store RAM to uh, implement the hardware checking, the also the hard, the error checking on the BC. Anyway, you cannot see this. Uh, executive memory area or you cannot see the permanent store RAM in the BOC. So when you use the BOC, you just see this memory, application memory area and we have to repair the control RAM. So when you repair the control RAM, it's according to your application and also the procedure of your application, then you can make the control RAM then lost to the BOC. And for the user data, it means you can use the memory in the BLC. It looks like the partition uh, data on your computer or your mobile phones. So you can store your data in the BLC memory. Uh, so uh, the memory can separate to uh, category. It's called uh, volatile and non volatile. So, what is different between the vo volatile and non volatile? So for example, if you have a memory, uh, it's contain the data and if you uh, disconnect the power to the memory, so all the data in the memory is lost also, then we call it a volatile uh, memory. Uh, the other way we call it non-volatile. And uh, there are seven memory types, so uh, we uh, consider one by one right now. The first one, uh, we have the read-only memory, it stands for uh, ROM, so uh, usually we call it ROM. So this type of memory, we store the physical RAM permanently, and it cannot uh, update or it cannot change the RAM in further. It cannot uh, erase uh, the data on the memory. And uh, a secretive program are often stored in the ROM by the manufacturer I, uh, I mentioned you before. And the user can never uh, enter the executive program in ROM. Uh, for example, if you buy the BLC, you can do the BLC, you can change the control program, you can upload the control program, but you cannot change the program in ROM. Also, when you can see your computer or your mobile phone, in the ROM memory, we also cannot change if you 
of talk to Chinese. So it's when you change the program in the brown memory, maybe uh, it's uh, damage your um, system, your computer, or your mobile phone. So maybe it's dangerous for the user when you try to update or change the program in the brown. And usually the raw memory is a very small size. It's just uh, uh, enough for the permanent RAM by uh, used by the manufacturer. And in the Mitsubishi BLC, the executive program in the ROM memory is also called a system ROM. And when you use the BLC, uh, you don't care about the size of the memory, uh, the ROM memory. Second time we have a random access memory system for ARM, RAM. So usually we call it RAM. And for this type of memory, it's easy to read and write memory, but it does not retain this content if the power is lost. So when we use this type of memory, we have to use with the battery. So when the battery are discharged, this the data of uh, the, the data in the, this type of memory may maybe will be lost maybe it's lost and um, uh, the RAM uh, with the battery usually you for the application memory so also uh, we have uh, several kind of BLC use the uh, RAM memory for store the control RAM in that case have to use uh, with the battery. In comparison to another memory style, uh, the RAM is a relative fast memory uh, and uh, the RAM size for uh, different type of BLC is various. The next time we have a RAMable rich only memory uh, stand for BROM. So this is a best style of BROM because it can be RAM it, but uh, it's just uh, required for only one time programming. And when uh, we uh, program, this type of memory cannot uh, easily erase or alter it. Any program can change require a new set of big ROM chips. So the type of memory just programming one time, only one time, and we cannot change it further. It have a disadvantage of required special uh, RAM equipment. So it's uh, you just really is a best of RAM equipment by using a uh, look like the uh, complicated the RAM equipment and it's not uh, feasible for further change on online data entry. The next time we have a shareable RAM with only memory we call it uh, EPROM so this is the best of the uh, we run this can be programmed uh, after uh, entirely erased by uh, ultraviolet light source. So this type of memory we can re -program, but we have to use the UV lights. So um, maybe a long, long time ago, we also use this type of memory uh, to store the program. But when we uh, want to clear the data in the memory, we have to use the the sensor UV light to uh, clear the data on the memory, and it take a long time to clear on the data on this type of memory. And for uh, this type of uh, memory, uh, also very we have many uh, BC uh, use the type of memory. Uh, air of uh, optional backup to battery supported RAM. The next time we have the electrically uh, alterable risk only memories, we call it ER ROM. And uh, this type of memory is uh, also look like the E ROM, but uh, uh, instead of require UV line to uh, erase the data on the memory, it requires uh, the voltage, the erasing voltage to uh, clean the data on this type of memory. Uh, actually, it's a very few controller use this type of memory uh, as the application memory. And uh, this type of memory is a non-volatile, 
It's mean when we start a ramp, it can tar permanent uh, until we want to try to uh, clear the data on this type of memory. And also, when we use this type of memory, it's a backup to the RAM time memory. The next time we have the electrical is flexible, RAM is only memories, uh, we call it EWP ROM. And uh, usually, in recently, we also use this type of memory for many uh, devices, for example, uh, the, the computer, the mobile phones, and microcontroller, and also, of course, for the BLC. This type of uh, this is a non-volatile memory, and usually uh, this type may be used for the small and medium-sized BLCs. Uh, it's provide a permanent storage for the RAM. It means when we use this type of memory, we don't need to use any battery to keep the data on this type of memory. And also, it's the provide for the ability to change the RAM online and update the RAM. And also we RAM. One of this the advantage of this type of RAM is the is the pay on the buy, the buy wide memory. So it's the uh, when we uh, programming and we the razor this type of memory is take a long time. Compared to the plus memory, uh, we have this. This is a non-volatile computer storage. It means when we use this type of memory, we don't need to use any battery to uh, keep the power uh, for the, uh, this memory. And this is the best style of EEPROM, uh, so it can be eraser and we will RAM in the blast flow. So it's offer the fastest access because it's uh, work on uh, the the blast block wide. And also, this type of memory is cheaper than EEPROM. So, in recently, many devices we use the last memory for store the RAM and uh, op also for the uh, operation system. For example, the computer, the mobile phone, the USB, the hard drive, and uh, also many many devices. For example, um, for PC and uh, microcontroller also. And uh, for communication between the last memory and uh, the external device, we can use the parallel interface. So it's offer the faster uh, speed of the communication uh, compared to the I2C and SPI interface of the EEPROM. And uh, in the plus memory, it's the eraser block wide and air block eraser is by wide. So by we using the plus memory, is uh, uh, offer the fast speed for read and write data, also for eraser data. Now we can see the several high of the Mitsubishi uh, BUC. Now we can see that it's uh, the Epic series. Uh, in detail, we have the Abit 3 u So this type mem, this type of BC is you the RAM memories, and it's offer uh, sixty four thousand step. So in uh, the next chapter, uh, we can see the, the injection when we repair the control program for the BC. So one by one of the injection, we can see the the uh, the time for processing the injection we. Uh, con we calculating in step unit. So in this type of memory, it will write uh, 64,000 steps for the control program. And this type of BC is offer uh, uh, the ability to insert the cassettes, uh, this type of plus memory. So it means you can use the, uh, the cards, the plus card to insert amounting to the BC to store a RAM also. The second style is the uh, F3UC. It also used the RAM memories and uh, offer the uh, 64,000 steps. And as uh, you know, when we use the BLC with the RAM memory, we have to keep the battery of the BLC. If the battery out discharge, the control RAM in the RAM will be lost. Last time we have Edu 3 
And this type of VVC uh, is used the Ebra Marys and offer uh, 32 thousand staff. And this type of VVC because it's used Ebra Mary, so we don't need to um, use any battery to keep the control RAM in the memory. And it's uh, it's called battery free and maintenance fee. So it means we don't uh, monitoring the status of battery and train the battery before the battery out of discharge. And also when you when you want to try the battery, you have to keep the power to the VC because if you uh, disconnect the power, the VC will be lost the control RAM in the RAM memory. So this type of error memory, if it can be stored the control RAM permanently, then we don't need to maintain and uh, use any battery. The next time we have the LHGVC and this time also offer the April memory and uh, 32,000 staff. And the next time we have the uh, the BC S and we have the April memory uh, offer uh, 16,000 step. So you can see many kind of BC is used the Bram memory and April memory, but in recently. We UBC is have the flash memory, actually, because the flash memory cheaper than the Ibram. But the uh, previous, they when they uh, make the BC, they just can uh, have the Ibram uh, memory and the brand memory available. So uh, at the time, they maybe they, they didn't um, concern to the flash memory. So. They just use the, the old technology of the memories. But recently when you use the VLC, it's come with the flash memory for start and jump rack. Now we consider the memory capacity. So the capacity is very important when you use the VLCs. Uh, when you want to develop the application, first you have to consider the, cap the memory capacity of the VLC because when you uh, repair your control RAM, you have to estimate how many variable, how many memory device, how many, uh, how long your control RAM. So at that time, you can estimate your BLC capacity, memory capacity. And uh, usually, when we uh, consider the application memory, uh, the manufacturer uh, provide the sum of K units. So its K unit will resin uh, one thousand gentle work and one work contain sixteen bit and also it's the uh, same the the register. So in the BC one register uh, is have the sixteen uh, bit and also in here we can see uh, uh, it's K unit we resin a uh, one thousand joint for register. And the memory capacity of the BLC in the K unit is only indication of the total number of storage location available. Now we can see the, the memory organization and IO interaction. So on the all the overall the system the overall memory in the BLC contain uh, the system memory and application memory and it's defined for about a secretive, the box part, the data table and user program. So this program to store the control RAM repair by uh, programmer and this for contain the data of the user and here you can see cannot see in the BLC because uh, it's used by the manufacturer. Consider this uh, this session, this two session is hidden from the user and it's called a system memory. The data table and user RAM is accessible and it's called application memory and this only the memory area we can see and we can access it. The total memory specified for the VLC may be below the system memory and application memory, but time you see they just consider the application memory for the user use for the control RAM and data. 
Now we uh, recall the knowledge about bit by the work and after the number work. So uh, the smallest unit in the memory we have is a bit, and a bit come is from by and two by from a work and two work from by a double work. So one double work contains sixteen bit. Now we can see the, the data type in the VLC. So in the VLC, there are uh, four types of data or four types of variable or uh, four types of the memory device. First, we can see the, the pooling. The symbol is pool, and the sign is a uh, one bit, and the data range is uh, have two data, two and four, or zero and one. In the second type we have integers, 10 for ENT, and the sign we have 16 bits. The range from minus 32,768 to 32,767. And the third time we have double integer, 10 for DINT, uh, and it has uh, 32 bits, the data range here. And finally, we have the loss or the real, the real numbers. It uh, have also have uh, 32 bit and the range data from here. Now I have the question: So why the data range of the integer time uh, from the minus 32 uh, 768 to 32,767? Why is it not minus 32,768 to 32,768. Now, I will answer this question. So, you can see that we have here is the data register. It's called G0. So, this register contains system bits from 0 to uh, 15. And uh, in the sign number, it's, it means it's contain the positive and negative value. Uh, the mod left bit of this register is the bit uh, 15, so it's used for uh, address the size of the number. When this bit value is zero, it's implying this uh, positive number, otherwise it's implying the negative number. And now we can see the for example, in this case, we have the 15 bit is 1 and on demand uh, bit is 0. So, in this case, if we use the first complement, if we use the first complement, so this type of binary number will represent the minus 0. And in this time, we have also another, uh, another way to represent the 0 value. So now we can see that the bit 15 is 0 and on the remit also 0. So in this case, we have plus 0. So in the first complement, there are two ways to represent the value, the value of 0. But we can see the, the second complement. So when uh, instead of the second complement, uh, when we have the binary number look like here, so now we can see the all of this value is zero, and this bit with the uh, the waste number is the negative waste number. So uh, in this case, we have minus uh, two power fifteen, and it's equal minus thirty two thousand seven hundred sixty eight. So in this type. In this case, this binary number equal minus 32,768. And for this case, the 15 bit equal 0 and also on the bit is 0. So at that time, we have the binary equal to the 0. And in the second complement form, we have only one k to be resin the zero value and this k is represent this value is not minus zero but in the first complement it represent the minus zero in this case so that's the reason 
white the red, the data range of the interval is regression from the minus 32,760 to 32,767 and the same uh, manner to the double in, uh, integer so in the BOC is use the two complement it use the two complement to regression the data in the register so uh, you should to consider and pay your attention in uh, this situation now we can see the, the lost number how to store in the VLC memory so in the blocks number also uh, the sign have uh, six, uh, 32 bit and the more flex bit position we have 31 if we resin the size of the values so this side uh, have only two values 0 or 1 and a bit we have the exponent exponent stand for is and uh, also we have six, uh, 23 bits uh, for the mantissa stand for m and now we have to uh, consider how to is uh, how is construct the data in the flux so this is the flux number and it's uh, controlled by this uh, formula uh, this is the size the size value is equal to 0 or 1 this is the mantissa and this is, is the exponent and this is y arc and usually the y arc equal uh, 127 and e uh, in this range so in this case we can construct the value, the loss value by using the, this formula. Now we consider the example how to regression the number 10 in uh, the loss number. So we use this formula. First we consider uh, the, the value to uh, want to represent in the binary form is 10. Uh, so the sign of this number equal zero because this is the positive number. Then we can see the uh, this uh, ten lower than a is equal uh, the the um, two power of three, and it's less than sixteen two power of four. Uh, then we can see the this uh, situation. Uh, so uh, we have to uh, convert this value into uh, this form this time so we have to find this term and this term so now we can see the uh, 3 equal e uh, minus by us and by us equal 127 so e equal 130 and in this case we compare to this form you can see in this case m equal 0 0.27 so we have to the final result here. After that, we can construct the binary value to represent the number 10 in decimal in type of locking point format. Now we can see that the memory time in the uh, BOC Mitsubishi. So in the BOC Mitsubishi, uh, we have several type of memory time. First, it's called it's it stands for the input module uh, register. So when you use the BLC Mitsubishi, we uh, used to know the register is uh, with the name is S register, and it's same for the output. It's use the letter Y, and T for the timer, C for the counter, D for the data register, data registers. Uh, S for the state and finally we have the M for internal relay internal relay so it's uh, when you use the memory with the internal it means it just you for the inside or the internal thing called the RAM in the VLC it cannot uh, it means it does not access uh, to the field device by using the internal relay if you use the internal device to write 
the output register, at the time we can uh, change the state of the field device. But otherwise, we cannot change the field device by just using the internal relay. Now we can see the, the uh, memory device in the BC Mitsubishi Q series. This is the Q series. So when you open the 3S work to uh, software, then uh, take to the parameter and uh, specify to the device type, you can see this window. So in the window, you can see many type of memory uh, available in the BC Mitsubishi Q series. First, we can see that it's uh, the, uh, the inputs. Uh, we have the device point is uh, 8K also same for the output the internal relay M also have uh, AK so you can see in this case it's the white uh, cell the, the cell in the white color it means you can change the value so uh, in the case of you want to use the internal relay with more device for example it's 10K so you can change this become 10 and the top the divide total is will be, be in read is maybe more than to uh, ability of the BUC at that time you have to review another device for example this type of the last relay you don't want to use AK you can review to 6K to balance the divide total in the BUC so you can see the total number of divide point is up to 29K so in this case, if the device total is 28.8K, it's okay. It lends then the, the capacity of the BC is okay. But when you in one of uh, one type of device, it will in read also in read the device total maybe larger than uh, 29. So we have to review another type of device. And uh, also, in this case, you can see uh, it's provide the last memory, the last start and the last end. It means um, this type of uh, memory, when you uh, disconnect the power of the PC, uh, the data on this memory will be lost. And in case of if you want to uh, store the data in the memory when you disconnect the power of the BC, you have to specify the aspect of the memory for example in this case if you want to keep the data of the data register D in the BC when you disconnect the power uh, you can write the aspect of the uh, memory device here so in this case it means from D0 to D uh, 12,287 the data uh, in this memory device will be stored when you disconnect the power and you can see here it's by your uh, two system so uh, for example another if you want to keep uh, the memory is big for example, you want to keep from the B0 to B100. So you can write out here, 0, here, 100. And also you want to keep the data from B200 to B300. So write out is 200 and 300. So it, so it means that in this case, uh, from the, the divide B100, and one to uh, be 199 uh, the data will be lost when you disconnect the power otherwise in uh, first segment in the first segment and the second segment the data will be kept when you disconnect the power and now we can see the, the device in the BLC Mitsubishi epic series so you can see this is the epic series and in this type of BC, there are several um, memory type. It's a M, 
uh, stand for the internal relay, the state, the timer, the counter, the data register, and the standard register. Also, it should write only one system, so you can see only one system, the last, uh, the last start and the last end. So in this case, you only have only one system uh, for uh, uh, specifying the, uh, the address of the memory device uh, you want to um, keep the data when you disconnect the problem. Here also, I give you the example. Uh, in this case, when you want to keep the data of the L memory device, so uh, you want to keep from the L0 to L100, uh, 1024, so you specify the average of this time memory. Also in this case, we want to keep the data of D0 to D128. Now we can see the, the data registry. Uh, so uh, for the data register, you can access on the register or you can uh, access uh, in video bit. For example, in this case, when you want to access uh, the bit number five, uh, in this register, you can write out uh, by this format. So you can write out the channel, which means the D channel register and you want to accept the bit number 5 so you make this a point and number 5 and this only bit value it means that this bit only equal 0 or equal 1 but for the register it totally have the system bits so the data is a look like the interior data so from the 32,768 to uh, 32,767 by we can see the, the whole data register D0 the data again from here and we can see the uh, the timer the timer memory so for the time memory we use the coin so we we can see that this is the timer coin this is the timer contact and in this case it's a normal open contact and this case is a normal closed contact of the timer now we can see that in the first one we have the logic of the E0 equal 1 which means the E0 is on and the coil of the timer also is on and it's allow the timer counting by the time even so uh, this type of timer uh, use the time even is 0 boy one second the interval is of 0, 0 boy one second so uh, in this case we uh, assign the recess value is 30 so it means this timer counting uh, up to 3 seconds by 30 uh, multiply to 0 by 1 interval so it's equal 3 seconds and you can see when the t0, uh, t0 coin is on then it's uh, enable the timer counting uh, by the time even uh, until 3 seconds at that time the timer will be active and the timer contact normal contact will be on and otherwise the normal closed contact will be stopped and you can see this situation and when the each arrow it become become zero, uh, the t uh, zero coil also stop and uh, the t zero normal contact also off otherwise for the t zero normal contact now we can see that another type is return the timer. So in this case, you can see uh, also the first one we have the H0 to power the coil at T0 of the return the timer. So when it's on, H0 is on, the uh, this timer coil also is on. And when you the uh, contact of H0 is up, this coil, this timer coil also stop. So 
the normal Thomas also same behaviors. But in this case, you can consider this value. The recent value ought to mean the counting uh, time by value of the time. Uh, in this case, it will be hold. When the call is up, the recent value will be hold. It's not resist. If not resist. So, when you power the call again, this recent value will be called until the recess value. The previous normal timer when you uh, disconnect the power of the coin, the recent value also recess, and when you power again, the counting value uh, count from the channel. But in this type of timer, the reset the recent value is how when the coin off, and when you power the coin again, it's continue counting. And that is the, the difference between the normal timer and retentive timer. Now we can see the, the index register. So this register is called by the letter G. And uh, for example, when you stay, the device with D0, J0. So this means we access to the device with the address D0 plus G0. So this is called the dynamic aspect of the device. So if one you when you address um, the device memory, D0 is mean the uh, static address. But when you use this time, D0, J0. So because the value of the J0 uh, is can be changed. So this in this case we have the dynamics address of the device. So in this case, below uh, it depend on the device. Uh, the value of the Z0. So if when the Z0 equals uh, 0, the divide, the exactly divide when we want to accept is D0. When G0 become 5, so the exactly the divide we want to accept is D5. So that's the, uh, that is the dynamics at which we, we want to assess. Uh, this is very useful when you use the construction. For example, later we will use the construction with uh, this device address. For example, you can use uh, the something construction and uh, we use the dynamics address. So we can make the bluff control uh, and in your the bluff control you can train the value of the Z0. So when you return to this instruction, we can accept another device by using the dynamic express. For example, for the first loop, uh, the value of C0 equals 0. So at that time, we use this instruction accept to the device memory is uh, D0. And uh, mm -hmm. when we uh, implement the loop control, we can increase the value of the Z0 become 1. And when we return to this injection, it's access to D1. It's look like the number, uh, the loop number, the loop variable in the uh, C language. Now we can see the, the input express. So when you use the VLC, uh, when you connect the field device to uh, the input terminal, of the VLC is correct. Uh, is co correspond to uh, the input register. It correspond to uh, one bit in the uh, input register. For example, in this case, when you connect the uh, field device to the uh, terminal input number seven, so in the register of the uh, input register, this correspond to correspond to the bit number seven. For, for example, in the BC Mitsubishi, we have uh, register is U4, the input. So when you connect the input device to the terminal 7, it corresponds to its 7. And 
and when you change the state of the field one, also you can change the state of the input terminal here. And in the control program, when you use uh, the symbol to uh, read the state of the input terminal, it's also changed. In the same manner for the output address, uh, when you change uh, the bit in the output register, the state of the field one can be changed also. For the view, see, uh, Several user uh, device connected to the VLC. We have the push button, the switch, the limit switch, the rosin TV, and photo sensor. Uh, for the output uh, side, we have the pilot lamp, the tower alarm, the mechanical relay, and the contactor. Now we can see that when we uh, have one, uh, one switch connect to the input address with number 5. We have the one pilot lamp connect to the output at red uh, 1006. Then we have the control ramp in the VLC. In the VLC, we can use the mono or open contact with the SWET of the register is also number five. So when you uh, change the state of the field one here, uh, the electric signal of the input terminal also send. And in the control ramp, when you use the bit device, here to represent the state of the input is sweat number 5, also strength. And uh, in this control when when you use uh, the input condition here to write the state of the output 1006, it means when the coil of this device on, it also change the state of the output as well and also uh, then in turn we change the state of the output device. Now we can see the another example. We have two switch S1 and S2 connect to the input terminal S1 and S2. Also here we have the lamp 1 connect to the input Y22. And in the control program we can use the S1 uh, to represent the state of the electrical signal of S1. When you change the state of S1, it's also change the state of the normal open constructed one here. So uh, first, when we turn the S1, the S1 will be on, and in the control when when you use the open the normal open contact also it become on, it become one. And in this one you can see because we did them uh, touch the S2, so uh, the S2 become zero. And in the control ramp, because we use the normal op, normal normal close contact, so it also become one. So the first run will be on and write the M1 coil equal one. At that time, when we use the normal open contact of the M1, it all become one also. And why we use the M1 here? Because when you leave the S1. Uh, the state of the S1 become zero and here become open. So at that time, we can uh, remain the state of the M1 by using this normal open construct here. And also, uh, as a result, we have the, um, the coil Y22 become one and it can write the lamp one is right, is on. And when you touch or you uh, turn the switch number two, uh, it's right, this value become one, and it's two also become one. But in this case, because you use the normal close contact, so this factor become zero, and it's make this run is uh, open, and the coil of M1 will be lost, and also a result, the Logic of the coil Y change to become zero and the lamp one is up. So, uh, summarily, uh, when you use the VLC, you can use the the field Y connect to the input module, connect one thing to uh, the address in the register. It's just one bit in the register, and also when you use the 
uh, I would feel divine connect to the output module is corresponding to bit by bit in the register output register and then in the control when you can use um, the bit register the bit uh, in the input register and also the bit in the output register to make the control program when you read uh, the state of the field device input is correct one need to you reach the uh, state of the bit in the input register and when you write the output bit in the output register it means you can write the state of the output field device so that's a totally content of this chapter I hope you understand on.